Hey guys, welcome back to Stormworks. Today we are back in career mode, and today we're obviously gonna have to do something special. I, I don't know what it's gonna be, but I think we're gonna have to swim back over to our base over there. We're gonna have to design a whole new vehicle that can recover our vehicle that is up a hill, and hopefully we can actually recover that vehicle today, bring it back to our base, and be able to recoup our losses. So, let's go ahead and jump into the water and start swimming, shall we? Oh my, okay, for that time-lapse thingy-mabobby, I actually put a, a some music on in the background. I didn't know there was a siren going off, so uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. I think I'm going to climb up to the top of the, uh, the tower up there and hopefully ride it out. I I'm assuming we'll be fine up there. It is quite tall, but I don't know what's coming. I, I genuinely have no idea what's coming. Is there anything on the map that suggests there would be anything? No, of course there isn't. So let's run up here, get to the tippity top of this, and see what's going on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully nothing too bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, if it's a meteor shower or something like that, that's, I guess it's worse. Oh no, there it is. There is a tsunami or something heading this way. I'm just going to get up to the top of this and hope that I am tall enough. I think so. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So I'm just going to wait here for a bit. Alright, here it comes, guys. So, it is in the background, of course, as you guys can see. And I think I'm, yeah, I'm way above where we need to be here. So, that is pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, not as awesome for, I guess, those boxes or all of that stuff that's flying away. Interesting. Anyway, now that that's passed, we should go build something. Oh, hopefully it hasn't knocked my boat. That could be really bad. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's okay. Okay, so this might be kind of tricky to build, but we will see what we come up with. So, I'm thinking, maybe instead of building something that is like an all-in-one, we actually build two vehicles here. We build a boat that is able to transport some sort of tracked machine uh, to, I don't know, like a beach or something like that. Or we could build it all-in-one. I guess all-in-one does actually somewhat make sense. So, let's start out with the tracks, and we'll go from there. And yes, I have decided to make it tracked, rather than anything else. So, let's go ahead and do tank, I guess. Yes, here they are. We're gonna go for medium one. Hmm, probably small ones. Let's go for small ones, here we go. So, hmm, no, medium. Let's go for medium, they look cooler. <laughs> they look cooler, and that's what matters, apparently. Alright, cool, so we're gonna do that right there. We're gonna send this forwards to about here. And we're gonna put a medium wheel on there, very good. And then we're gonna send this backwards to about here. And we're gonna get another one of these and put it right there. Okay, fantastic. So, so far so good. We're gonna have tracks and that's fine. All right, cool. So from here, I'm actually gonna delete our way back to about here. We're gonna go ahead and put in a pipe. Yes, we are. It's gonna be one of these guys, like this. We're gonna get ourselves a clutch, which is gonna go right here. And we're gonna send it backwards from there. Now you gotta remember, even this thing needs to be electric, all right? It needs to be powered by electricity, which is not the best, to be honest, but that's fine. So we'll put these guys here, and we'll actually go backwards slightly. So do this real quick, do that, delete all of these guys, get ourselves a motor. We're going to go for... I don't really know what we should go for. We obviously don't have to get it into the sky, but still. We're going to go for this. That seems fine, sure. Uh, so we go from there, inwards, just like this. We get a gearbox, and we shove that on there like that, and we get some pipes, and we attach this together in the center. Here we go. Bam. All right, cool. So from there, uh, we just have to figure out how to power some propellers on the back. Obviously, we can do that if we do something like this. We can actually send this backwards and have the propellers back here. That's probably a good idea, actually. Prop, here we go. Go ahead and whack these guys onto there like that. That is awesome. 
We might need some uh, uh, some clutches for that too. So we we'll go ahead and put the clutches in right there like this, and that is fine. All right, cool. All right, so I don't mind these guys actually being quite far undo, under the water. So we're gonna go ahead and have them just be under the water. Let's go ahead and do this like so to the front, just like so. Bring this guy a little bit further backwards than the back. There we go. And we will attach all of these guys together like this. Now, I have been told 1x4s is more efficient than 1x1s. Um, however, they have more drag, so I'm not sure if I want to use them, but we'll see. Anyway, go ahead and put that there like that. That's awesome sauce. We are probably just going to go ahead and box this off on the bottom. Anything that needs filling over, like these guys, is going to be filled over. We're also going to go round this, and I'm going to try and separate that off as well, if I can. Just so that we can have the most buoyancy possible, um, that is what we're going to try and do. So something like this. Okay, awesome, yes! So we've boxed that off, this can now float uh, if we box everything else off too. Alright, cool. The interior of this is going to be boxed off like this. We're going to do this guy going forwards to there, and I'm just going to fill in the rest like this. Alright, awesome sauce, yeah! Alright, cool. So, I'm thinking we just box that off there like that. Um, I don't know whether we do something like this, maybe. There you go. Just like that. We bring this guy upwards like so. We do it again. There we go. And we seal this off across the top like so. It's kind of like, gonna look like an ugly car. <laughs> in, in fact, it is. It's just gonna look like an ugly car. But that's what we need. Okay, so there we go. I've boxed it off a little bit more, as you guys can see. And now I'm just going to go ahead and seal this off on the back end. We're probably going to seal it off on the top as well. Not going to do it with wedges, because sometimes wedges really make this, like, bad. It makes it really bad. So we're not going to do it with wedges today, but that's okay. We're going to add some ladders, just in case we need them. So we'll do... In fact, let's just do one ladder. That there, that there. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Um, we'll need maybe possibly a winch. So we'll put a winch on the back end, uh, but we will put it a little bit further in than this. So put that there, there we go. Winch is actually going to go more towards the center, I think. So we'll put it directly above this, and that's fine. Yeah, that's that's A-OK. -okay. All right, good. So we've obviously got the propellers on the back, so we can actually push this thing forwards and backwards. We're going to have those tank controlled so we can spin around properly. We've obviously got our motor right here with our gearbox. And then we've got our tank tracks that are also going to be powered. Nice. Okay, so the other thing that I'm going to do is delete these guys right here and add some rope anchors. In fact, actually, let's do these pieces instead. We'll also do a centerpiece right there just in case we need to. And I think the front end, we're going to try and make look a little bit nicer too. So we're going to add some spotlights uh, directly into there. I'm actually going to go ahead and add some like separate spotlights like these ones right here as well. We're going to build up above that. Just like so, and I think we can get away with this. We can make it into like a truck cab, a truck cabin thing. I don't know, is that going to look weird? Um, heat? Heat? I want to put one of these in as like a radiator. I guess that will work. There we go. Uh, and yeah, we're going to build an actual cab above this. That seems weird, but at the same time, I don't know, kind of cool. So let's get ourselves a seat. Yes, we'll add... Our driver's seat on the right hand side, excellent, because I am British, that's where we put them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this down here, and we're going to add one of these seats off to the side over there. Good, and I think that'll be it. We'll go ahead and push that backwards like so. I might actually do something like this right here, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I'm going to have to do the same thing right there as well, so this, and then this. All right, fantastic. Let me build the rest of this cabin, and then we can go do our recovery. All right, so there we go. This is our recovery vehicle. Do I think that this is good? Uh, probably not, to be fair, but uh, I think it might work. Uh, and that's that's kind of all that really matters here. We just need to recover our stuff. Um, and if we can do that, that would be fantastic. So that is that is the main purpose of this vehicle. Bam. There we go. Even as ugly as it is, hopefully it still works. So, um, with all that being said, I'm going to try and add some more seats to the interior, just in case. So we're going to do this. They can sit on the floor if they need to, if we ever use this for recovery. 
I don't think we will. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint it real quick, just to hopefully make it look even a tiny bit nicer than it currently does. Um, because, you know, even though we aren't really gonna use this ever again, it should look at least a little bit good, you know? So I'm gonna try and add just like a bunch of random colorings of uh, deck in here. There we go. Um, hopefully. Hopefully we can make this look nice. Alright, there we go. So, I'm gonna do a bunch of random stuff. Very random, in fact. There we go, do that guy right there. I'm actually gonna do that guy right there as well. Right here. And do this in the center. And I think that bit is gonna have to go there too. Oh, yikes. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just randomly put this in. Uh, which is, is fine. There we go. Up to the end. Grab this guy. Do this bit. There we go, fantastic. Grab this guy, do this bit in the center, and then, yeah, alright, that's fine, we'll just do this. That's okay, alright, cool, we got a wooden deck on the back, on the interior, doesn't really matter, let's do this. And then the rest of it is actually gonna be green. Alright, maybe not. Blue? Maybe not. Yellow. Hey, yellow! Look at that. So, I'm thinking, uh, we might need a little bit of extra buoyancy on this thing, possibly. So I'm going to go ahead and put a pivot on the inside, just in case we need it. I'm not sure we will, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And I'm going to put another one at the back. And also, we need to um, do this. Yeah, because at the minute it would have floated. Oh, It, uh, it would have sank. It would have sank. Anyway, this is fine for now. We are going to keep it as is. Gonna put a fake door handle on here, because of course there isn't gonna be any. Um, and that's it. There we go. Alright, fantastic. So, I'm gonna have to put some dials in this thing, just so we know, um... Just so we know how much electricity and stuff we have left. We also need a bunch of batteries, of course, because we don't have any currently. So, we're gonna go ahead and shove a bunch of these in. There's one, two, three... Okay, that's just three. And we're gonna go ahead and put another one there. It's four. And five. Okay, cool. Six. All right, that's actually quite a few batteries. Uh, there we go. Don't know how many batteries that is, but there's there's a few in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach each of these guys together and connect them to the motor, of course. There we go. Fan dabby dozy. We are gonna attach it to the lights just so the lights can work. We're gonna attach it to this guy and all of these. And I think. I think that is everything connected. Oh, and these guys too, of course. There we go. Nice. All right, does it float? Not really. <laughs> it doesn't really float. I don't know whether there's actually any water going inside of this piece. That could also be an issue. I don't know whether that is the issue, but yeah. Let's go ahead and put a few more pivots in. Let's put it in again. And the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing as well is actually adding some control surfaces uh, to the side. So these guys, we're going to go with one, two, three. At the back, we're going to go one, two, three. And the other thing that I did say I might do is actually add some extra buoyancy. So we're going to delete that guy right there. We're going to go one, two, three, four, just three. Okay, cool. Get ourselves a landing floaty. One of these guys, and we're going to put it on the side like this. I'm then going to do a similar thing right here. Okay, if it fits. If it fits, it sits. There we go. All right, good. Spawn it in again. Let's see if that helps. Nice. Okay, this is our rescue machine. <laughs> Even though it doesn't look too good, I'm sure it'll work fine. Maybe. All right, so we've got our microcontroller right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, on the back, just here like this. I am actually going to leave it on the back like this. And I'm going to have to add another one. So actually, put that as low as we can, paste it there, put another one on, paste it there, because we're going to need two. Um, yeah, so that's good. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and put a window in, just so I'm actually sort of able to see backwards. Because at the minute... I can't. I wouldn't be able to, anyway. So we're going to go and put these guys in. Like that. That is awesome. Nice. I mean, it doesn't look as ugly as I, I expected. So that's a good thing, I think. Um, I'm also going to go and paint these guys this color, too. There we go. Lovely. Uh, so now that we've done that, 
I need to attach uh, A and E to this, of course. W and S to this. We're going to attach A and D, which is actually left and right, and up and down to there. So this is for the rear. Our right motor is this clutch. Our left motor is this clutch. Because we're only using one motor altogether. Our left motor is this, and our right motor is this. Okay, so that is everything connected. Is it going to work? I hope so. Right, let's add some dials. Just so we can see how much fuel and stuff we've got. I say fuel, how much battery power we've got left. And I guess we can put one in for speed. Sure. Speed sensor! Do -do 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 -do. We're going to go and shove that on the roof like so. Actually, that's kind of ugly. Let's just go ahead and put it there. Okay, cool. Speed sensor, let's attach that to there. And battery stuff is going to be connected to here. Alright, good. Is that everything we need? This is bad roo, and this one is speed. Okay, that is everything, I think. I think that's all we need. So, um, let's go to the gearbox really quickly. We're going to make that 3 to 1, and we're going to go. Please say this is going to work. Please. Alright, so inside. Alright, that is bad so far. <laughs> So far, so bad. We need to get rid of this guy and that guy. I'm actually going to get rid of that guy too. Uh, and what I would love to do is actually put some of these on the front. There we go. So do that. And this. There we go. And I would also really like to put one of these guys on the front too. Um, but I do think that's going to look somewhat ugly. But it might be for the best that we have one of these. To be honest, let's go ahead and try and put that there, spawn it in. Yeah, that is much better actually, we are way more balanced. Okay, so get inside. What's that doing? I don't know what that's doing. Is it not doing anything? Is it not doing anything? Have I attached? Oh, because I haven't done anything with the actual motor. Uh huh. Okay, so we need that to go on like a throttle in order to actually work. Alright, this is interesting. So let's put that there. Attach this down to here. Give that guy some electricity, of course. And go. So we control the amount of power that's getting put out by this throttle lever right here. But we don't actually. Yeah. Oh. Jeez Louise! Okay, that's quite a lot of power. Our speed is is really high, but it's totally working. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Nice. Okay, cool. So, all we gotta do is... Oh, I didn't add any winch controls. Or any ropes, actually, for that matter. But I don't think we need any. We're gonna completely ignore that. I don't think we need any. We're just gonna drive over to where we need to be. And we're going to do our work. This is going to be great. Okay, uh, how much fuel have we used? The battery power we've used actually a good decent bit, uh, but we are okay still, so that's good. Um, yeah, I need. I now need to actually find where we lost our boat. It's somewhere up on the hill over here, uh, but I'm not sure. Also, we're gonna have to try and get out of the um, out of the water here. Whoa. Okay, that was easier than expected. Interesting. Do we have a reverse? Do we have a... We don't have a reverse. We don't actually have reverse. But, luckily for me, I'm a strong man. And I can just push it sideways. So, it's actually kind of hard to drive. Um, which is super duper annoying, to be honest. Um, but we couldn't actually test it anywhere else but here, so that's a thing. 
Anyway, let's jump in. Okay, as long as I'm... As long as I'm sort of slow, I'll be able to get this to our destination. Okay, cool. So, we gotta head, like, through the trees. In fact, we might want to turn off the engine in order to find this. I say turn off the engine, I mean turn off the motor. But, um... I have a feeling it's up there somewhere. I don't know. Let's go for a walk and try and find that out. Although, I didn't add any brakes to this. That was really dumb. Okay, so I seem to remember it only being up a little bit of a hill, so that might be it right there. In fact, let's just drive up. It is gonna be a pain in the butt. But I'm just gonna go ahead and try and smash my way through these trees, rather than dodging them. I don't have a reverse, remember, so... Every time we get stuck, we're just gonna have to let it roll backwards. I'm gonna put a little bit more oomph into this. Go. Yep, we can knock down trees. I wish... I'd put a welder on board. That would have been very... That would have been a really good idea. How much battery have we got left? Not much. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, right. Leave this here. I'm gonna go try and find... the boat. Okay, so after some exploration, I haven't actually managed to find it. I can see that base over there is... sort of fine. Only one of the containers has moved, so I'm not sure... if a tsunami could have came across and actually taken my boat off the island and taken it into the ocean and actually just made it go really far away. I Like, that could have happened. Uh, and if that has happened, then we've lost that boat forever. Uh, because there's no way I can actually find it once it's gone like that. Uh, especially because I didn't put a transponder on it or anything like that because we didn't have any money. Um, but yeah, it's getting dark. I might actually just return back to our little boat. Our little rescue vehicle, I should say. I'm not sure. I I don't know. Um, but I would like to have a little bit more of a look around before we give up. Because it could be that our boat is just over one of these hills. And I haven't seen it. Also, side note, I don't know where my actual recovery vehicle is. It's in these trees. Somewhere. <laughs> so we'll have to find that as well. Yikes. Okay, luckily I painted this thing bright yellow, so I have actually managed to find it. Excellent. Anyway, uh, obviously there's no reverse on this thing, so... Oh, I have damaged the floaty. I've damaged the floaty, but that's fine. Alright, let's try and push this backwards. It might get... St it might actually be stuck. Oh, if it's stuck, we might have issues. But, I thought I would have reverse. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what we can do is just ram it forwards. So, in fact, do this. Go. Okay. I don't know how useful that is. I don't know if it's doing anything, actually. Oh, I thought this thing would have reverse. Also, the fact that it's getting to nighttime is a pain in the butt. Uh, luckily, though, we can actually push this bit sideways. Maybe. Or, actually, we should have quite enough power to be able to go sideways here. So if we do this... And we do this. Oh. Okay, I... I think we're turning around. Slowly but surely, but I don't know. Alright, our battery is getting worn down. Uh, what I might do is actually wait till morning to try and free this thing so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Because at the minute, I can't really see. I don't even know what we're stuck on. I think there's a tree underneath us. That might be the issue. Because we're not touching this tree yet. Although we're very close to. And we are not actually touching this tree yet. So I think it's the one that's underneath us that's the issue. Ugh. Ah! Problems. Always constant problems with me. Alright. Let's get inside one more time. Push! Yeah, I think we're just stuck on a log. That's really, really annoying. Oh, guys, that was really lucky. Okay, I found the boat. I have actually found the boat, so it hasn't been taken away. That is excellent. And also, we have more of a freeway town to the coast. So, let's... Wait, does this have a bed on it? It doesn't, does it? I don't think so, anyway. Uh, no. Alright, let's just go... 
It has a welding torch. We can fix our thing. Um, we'll go sleep. We'll then come back and we'll do an actual recovery. I'm so happy we found that. All right, we've had a sleep. It does sound like it's windy. Uh, yes, it is. Very windy. Look at the trees. They're dancing. Um, but that might that might actually work in our favor. We'll see. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and run back all the way over to... Oh, God. Uh, over to our recovery vehicle. And then maybe we can actually get it up this hill. But I don't know. Trees are an issue. I wish there was some sort of like chainsaw or something so you can cut down trees on your way. Um, but that's just not really a thing, but it'd be really cool if it was because it's I don't know It's really hard in this game to get through trees Unless of course you ram them which we've tried and we have been breaking our vehicle a little bit uh, So what I'm suggesting we do actually is we jump inside our boat. We grab the welding torch that is within Hopefully we can actually get yep. There we go. Uh, we grab the welding torch. We'll drop this off And we'll put that back in there, and we'll go get our thing. All right, we're going to be okay. Hello there! All right, okay, let's go ahead and repair this uh, floaty. It isn't actually allowing me to. Interesting. Uh, is everything else okay in this thing? It looks like it is. I think we are literally just stuck on a tree. Uh, and with no reverse, it's making it very difficult to do anything. Although that is working. I am able to push it backwards slightly. I don't think I can push it sideways, though. Um... I don't know what this is doing. I don't think I'm actually doing anything by doing that. Okay. Uh, wait, am I stuck on this tree as well? No, I'm not. Okay, I, I don't know why we're stuck, to be honest. All right, get back inside. Throttle up to full. Go. All right, here we go. Charge! Nope. That didn't do anything. I think I'm actually legit stuck here. No way have I got another vehicle stuck this easily. Oh, that doesn't work. We we don't actually appear to be stuck on anything except the tree that's under us. Oh, no, look, we are in the air. So why are we in the air? Is that a... Uh, I don't know. This isn't making much sense. It's not making any sense, actually. Right, push! Yes, charge! Have we hit the tree? Ah, oh, this is annoying. Okay, right, so, um... I think we'll have a little bit more pulling power if I go get the rope off the other thing, and I might be able to tug this thing sideways. Uh, from this guy, I might be able to run this way and hopefully pull it out that way. Oh, that's annoying. It's so stuck in there. Okay, please say we have our... Oh. <laughs> Why isn't the rope on there? Oh, oh no! Do I have any rope anywhere? I don't think I do. Oh, why isn't there any rope on there? There should be, right? I put rope on there, didn't I? I don't know. Anyway, ah, oh, this makes things so much more difficult. So, uh, we're gonna have to... What do we do? What do we do? I think I'm just gonna have to try and push it. This is going to be so annoying and take forever, but hopefully it works. Guys, I have done a thing. Oh, no, don't crash into that tree. Ah! <laughs> okay, I've done a thing where I've actually released it from its, its horrible mess that it was in. So, we're going to try and turn around and go that way. Whether we're able to do that or not, I'm not sure. We might also have to return back to our base because we're only on 64% battery. We've used most of it, which, to be fair, is... Not something that I was thinking wouldn't happen. Oh, no. Not having a reverse sucks, you know. Not having a reverse really sucks. Um, okay, I'm going to try and guide it by just pushing it. And I'm going to push it backwards. Heave ho! Alright, we hit a tree, but we're still okay. Go! Backwards! Yeah! Oh, we hit another tree. Alright, you don't actually hit them either. The hitbox is quite far off, but... It still says you hit them, so that's, yeah, that's what matters. Anyway, keep pushing. I'm lucky that Stormworks characters are actually just so strong. Um, because, you know, any other game, you wouldn't be able to push yourself through all of this. Not at all. But anyway, I'm going to try and knock down this tree to our left. So I'm going to do this. That didn't quite work. And I can't see this anymore. 
Right, how much throttle, how much power do we have left? 60%. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Alright, keep pushing it backwards. We're now going to try and push it through this hole right here. <laughs> oh, the things I do for videos. This is going to take forever. I just got to push it out into the open. Then what we're going to do is probably take this home, regen the batteries, and then come back out here. Also, I'll add a reverse, and I'll also add um, something else to... What else is it we need? There's something else. There is something else. I can't remember what it was, though, but never mind. Oh, brakes! Yeah, we need to add brakes and a reverse. So I'm going to send this home. We're going to just drive it home. And... Then we'll come back out here tomorrow. We'll fix the winch as well. We'll make that work. And it'll go from there. Okay, I think we're fine. Hopefully we're okay in the waves. And hopefully I can just jump in. Oh, this thing's actually pretty good. This thing is actually pretty good. Yeah, nice. Okay, we made it home. It doesn't really use too much when you're actually in the water, so that's pretty good. But yeah, let's get the winch working. So we're going to... Um, delete this and this. There we go. Get ourselves some buttons. Um, but, oh, t t Okay, actually, you know, I normally put them in the ground. I don't really want to put them in the ground. I want them to look nice. Or at least look nicer. So we're actually going to put some pipes in here. And we're going to put them here. Which, you know, it isn't really that nice, to be fair. But it, it works. So there we go. So we're going to have, like, up and down. Or out and in. Out and in. So, in is up, out is down. That is all we need. Uh, what is the other thing that I wanted? Brakes. Brakes are good. Uh, so, brakes, we're going to go ahead and put on one. We don't have anything else on one, so there you go. And I'm actually going to attach that to both the front ones and the back. Ah, oh, you know, all of them. There we go. So, let's go ahead and label that brakes. Brakes. All right, fantastic. And the other thing we needed was a reverse. We did. So reverse is actually going to go on two. Here we go. I don't know how this is going to work, but sure. <laughs> right, good. Uh, so now that we've done that, then let's go ahead and save this as is. Good. And a rope. We do need a rope. Yeah, we do. We actually properly fully need a rope. So we're going to go ahead and shove one of those right there. Alright, good. And some other stuff would actually not go amiss either, like a welder. Uh, da -da -da -da, just in case you need one. Because, you know, that boat probably won't float at the minute. So we'll add a welder onto here. And we don't need an underwater welder. We don't need that. Uh, maybe a charge thing. A charge... No, actually, we're just going to leave it as is. I think this is fine. So we've fixed the winch, we've added brakes, and we've added a reverse to this thing. And now it's ready to go again, I think. Okie dokie, let's go again. So the water is, or oh, does, does get pretty high on this thing. Um, luckily that's sort of, oh, maybe not 50. Oh, this thing is fast. Uh, I don't want to flip this over. And it's getting dangerously close to doing that. So I'm going to, I'm going to lower this down a lot. Oh my god, okay, we're good. Whew. Okay, yeah, a medium motor actually outputs a lot of power. Uh, and we've already used a bunch of it. But, I've slowed us down. So hopefully now it's maybe a little bit more efficient. And also, a little bit more stable. Because <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get back over there. We actually know now that it is a little bit closer to the, uh, the harbour over there. So we should be able to just drive up, grab it, and tow it back. And tow it down, actually. And then maybe tow it in the water, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. We'll see. I don't know how good this thing's going to be at towing. Might get a little bit unstable. Maybe. Okie dokie. So we've made it back over. We need to make sure uh, we are not going to hit that too hard. Oh, that was quite hard, but I think we'll make it up here. Yes, we did. Excellent. So that's back to zero. We can now use... Hang on. Can I reverse? No, 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 no. Why isn't it... Reversing. Oh, uh, did I add electricity to the reverse? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Right, turn that off. And we're going to push it back out of here. That is so annoying that I didn't... I don't think I added electricity. Oh, five casualties? How far away is that? Oh. 
Maybe with the plane boat, that would be fine, but that's really far away. Um, yeah, this thing, not the best. I think I, if I spent a little bit more time, I'm kind of rushing it. Uh, we maybe could have made this a lot better, but I don't know. We, we only really need it for one job, you know, and that one job is to just rescue my own boat, which is really dumb, but yeah. Uh, so I'm going to keep trying to turn this. This is so stupid. This is so dumb. All right, keep pushing. Keep pushing. All right, there, we're good. So we're going to get back inside and we're going to try and drive it that way, so... Give it a little bit more power. It might actually be a little bit better that way. I think we have a little bit more control with more power. But anyway, let's drive around the coast. Figure out where the least amount of trees is. Which actually might be around here. Or we can just continue around. How much battery do we have? Okay, let's not do too much there. That's good. Alright, so we can make it up steep cliffs. We just need to make sure that we can actually get down. Okay, yep. I'm going to try and go up here. Okay, yep. And the least amount of trees is probably right about here. I don't want to hit them, really, but we might have to. Oh, no, there we go. Excellent, we found our way through. Good. And now our boat is here. Woo, nice. Nice. All right, so our rescue vehicle is on 80% battery. Not terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and park it right there. And try and figure out all of this. So, we're going to grab our rope. And we're going to attach it down to here. And I think I'm just going to try and pull it. Actually, wait. Going to have to do it from the boat first, unfortunately. Okay. And we're going to attach that to there. Alright, good. And I guess we're ready to go. Okay, it's time for our first pull. Actually, we should probably figure out where we're... No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go for it. So, press 1. That's turned off the brakes. Go ahead and throttle up and go. Can we pull it? We are pulling it. Nice. So I want to take this through the trees. Are we getting pulled around by it? We are a little bit. The boat itself is pulling us around slightly, which isn't amazing. Uh, we've now rammed a tree. Oh, we actually rammed a tree and it hurt us. Please don't say we've broken too much here. No, we're good. We are actually good. So I want... Oh, no. Did it ram us in the butt? No, it didn't. Okay, I'm confused. I'm very confused. It's fine, though. So I'm going to go ahead and push past this. There we go. So we can drive past. And then we got to go this way and hopefully go straight through those three trees right there. I'm actually going to drive through them. Even if that's a really bad idea, which it is. It is a bad idea. Actually, should we try... Let's try and, like, pull this in. So... Let's get up here and attach it onto there. All right, good. We're going to go ahead and press 1 for our brakes. Good. And we're going to try and pull it in. The closer the boat is to us, the easier we will have, or the, the better time we'll have maneuvering. Oh, I think. Holy. No. Um. Right. Cool. Well, that's good. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't really know how to fix this. I don't really know how to fix this. Well, I can't pull it over. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no! Okay, so uh, it, it feels like, I don't know, career mode just isn't for me. Uh, this obviously is not what I wanted. Um, I forgot to actually turn off the button right there, and what's happened is obviously it's flipped us over, which is super duper annoying because I was trying to turn off the button. But, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's getting to night time, so I think it's probably the best that we end the video here. I'm going to like take ages trying to flip this thing over a little bit, and then I'll be back with you guys tomorrow, hopefully, uh, where we might be able to fix this. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, 
But yeah, how much money do we have left over? 3,431. Not very much. Probably not enough. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, it is cool that we've built something like this that does actually work. It's just annoying that, yeah, we broke it by doing something very stupid. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.